a good farmer and also a good custodian of the land. They're not diametrically opposed. You know, it, it goes hand in hand. It's just how. I mean, let's face it. You wouldn't be farming um, if you didn't love the land. We're on the lower Waikato River Delta, um, and and this is the main sort of spawning area. Um, before it was floodgated, there's 10,000 hectares here of tidal tidal creek, um, and with the floodgates, that's gone. And what we're trying to do basically is just re-establish a white bait spawning habitat. Um, Basically by removing all of the pest species, this place was inundated with pampas, um, willows, poa aquatica, all sorts of crap that basically white bait don't like. The main thing for white bait is to be able to have an area at the highest spring tides where, where, the, where the grasses get inundated, that's what they will come into and, and lay their eggs. And if you haven't got the right places there for them to, or the right species there, then it's a waste of time. That's how the, how, how the ecosystem works. All I'm doing is, is, is bits of land that are marginal, putting it back to what it was, you know? And I mean, it's, it's, such a, it's a cool playground for the kids. I mean, they love it. They've got the canoes, they're eeling, they're white baiting, you can catch mullet. Um, there's even freshwater crayfish and freshwater mussels. You know, and they, I think it, they get brought up with a sense of, of their environment. We've removed what was wrong and it's going to take a few years to, it doesn't just go like that, you just can't all of a sudden have native forest back. You've got to, I know it's a cliche, but you, you know, you've got to break a few eggs to make an omelette and, and that's what we're doing. But you, if, you, if you can see the long term goal and stick true to it, then, then we'll get there and, and not be put off by, you know, the short term, you know, setbacks that are, that are inevitable. And, you know, we're not, we're not getting paid to do it. It's. Um, it's got to come from within yourself. But if individually and collectively we, we all do a bit, then it'll be better off for everyone. You know? And there are a lot of groups that are doing things. You know, we've got environmental gr groups in the hills up the peninsula. You know, it just happens that I happen to be on the swamp, so this is where I can make a little bit of a difference.